and uh, envisaging the di dynamics of uh, Indian labor market requires to connect three dots uh, labor, technology, and business. Uh, that makes a tremendous sense if we connect three dots. What's really coming up is uh, over the last six and a half decades, while uh, machine power, human, has been growing on an accentuated uh, of manner. Uh, th that has been setting trajectories. However, along with technology, we hardly see a concomitant increase in uh, productivity in the sense uh, value added per human. So that's the kind of uh, conundrum we are heading towards. It, it, it is prospect, it has certain prospects as well as challenges. Challenges in the sense, along with job, along with growth, jobs are hardly generated. So uh, is, there a, is this guardian not uh, broken or other endeavors, serious endeavors to overcome this? This is a question. While these questions uh, linger around that has been quite perversely, uh, persistently uh, happening, uh, there's also a question regarding uh, uh, growth of informality in Indian context. Large chunk of labor force remains informal, but the question is, uh, what is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong, but the question is, good chunk of people remain extremely poor, unable to overcome the trap of poverty. So share of vulnerability employment is more or less constant. The, the, despite uh, the dynamics that's happening in the economy. So the discordance of the te world of technology, the discordance between world of technology, business and livelihood ever ever remains to be a daunting challenge for policy makers as well as for the market to really really arc. So uh, one would really think in terms of uh, emerging uh, economies, transition economies, these are salient features. I guess this is again a, an important question to be looked at. For example, we, have, we can posit this against the patterns with respect to BRICS economies other, other than India, particularly in Russia, Russia, uh, China, South Africa. At least uh, coming to these economies other than India, one cr critical aspect to be looked at is they have been able to absorb women in the workforce. So the dynamics is there, uh, fundamentally dependent on uh, low wage and the population, but then hardly it has moved to a productivity-based change or innovation-based change. And uh, importantly, what world is witnessing these days is machine power, machine power human is going up everywhere, whether developed or developing. Uh, in the sense, we are going to see robots taking on the manufacturing space. Uh, in the sense, robots are substituting human. But is it going to happen in Indian context or in South, South Asia or Sub-Saharan Africa? One has to wait and see. But for sure, I think livelihoods are at stake, uh, seeing the current rate of uh, global capital expansion is happening. Uh, we are witnessing less and less human-based, more dehuman-based economic growth processes that are taking place in transition economies. So economic fundamentals, macro fundamentals, for example, balance of payment, current account, uh, capital account, or uh, growth of uh, market segments and size, may not fetch great insights on what's happening. Because these none of these aspects would ever share uh, cast uh, real, real, uh, rational, expecta uh, really valid expectations about distributional aspect of the economy. So without really taking care of distributional aspect, economic growth is happening. In the sense, inequality is growing, accentuating, while economic expansion is taking place. But then, some point of time, this would turn out to be a massive crisis. So the balance sustainability, the uh, viability or the long run dynamics has to have the balance between economic expansion that's happening in, in terms of absorption of human, even if uh, technologies are being brought in. So dehumanizing is not a, a, a good alternative. 
because it's going to create massive crisis. First of all, the fundamentals of economy is going to be threatened by that. For, for broadly speaking, fundamental of uh, macroeconomic dynamics actually emanates from three things. One is uh, consumption. Consumption is an important thing. Second is taxes. Third is marginal propensity to invest. Looking at these three, most critical one, most positive one as far as economic expansion is concerned, consumption. Consumption has to really uh, come up, really go up. But then for that, distribution of economic growth is also equally important or perhaps more important. But unless that happens through uh, wages and livelihoods, consumption may not pick. Then it leads to uh, un a rising level of unsolved uh, goods and services. Uh, inventory levels are going to go So in this milieu, the complex milieu of inequality, uh, slump in businesses, even when technologies are really, really catching up, the final outcome is going to be prolonged crisis. So I think there's no easy way out of it. So that's the fundamental dynamics uh, some of the studies I do capture.